Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LaSalle Bristol RV and Camper Tank Heaters. What would be the purpose of using tank heaters? Well, the main purpose is to keep your tanks warm enough so that the water doesn't freeze, so that you can empty them or uh, add water in when you need to. For instance, if you're camping in cold weather conditions, what happens if you don't have the tank heaters? If it's open on the bottom and your camper is not set up for uh, cold weather conditions or it doesn't have a winter package on it, your tanks are open to the weather. So you get a lot of wind that may blow under there. If it's freezing, those tanks are going to freeze because they're made out of plastic. Adding these on keeps the water from freezing inside that tank. So if you need to empty your black water tank or you need to add water into your fresh water tank, you're able to do that. This is what our pads gonna look like when it's installed. It's going to be constructed out of uh, a foam material. It's going to be about three millimeters thick and it sticks right to the bottom of your tank. It's gonna work with tanks from 29, uh, 29 gallons up to 40 gallons. It's gonna be 18 and a quarter inches long by 12 inches wide. So it, it uh, works well for your, some of your, even some of your bigger tanks. Now we have one installed on our black water tank as well as our fresh water tank. The wires, as far as wiring it, we have a power wire and a ground wire. So they're pretty simple to install. Now the pads can be wired directly to the battery. They're gonna have an internal thermostat that when the temperature drops below 45 degrees, the pad will kick on. Once it reaches 67 degrees, it's gonna kick back off. We actually wire two of them together into a switch, which can also be done. Um, if you're gonna wire it to a switch, you wanna make sure your switch can handle the amperage of both pads. A Couple of things to keep in mind. If you're gonna hook it up how we did here uh, with the switch, you're gonna need spade connectors, you're going to need butt connectors, a fuse holder, and also the switch. Each of those can be found here at eTrailer. If you're just hooking directly from one pad up to the battery, you're just going to need a fuse holder that is able to handle the amperage. Now these pads are going to draw about 4.8 amps. So again, as I mentioned, make sure your switch can handle the two pads if you have them connected together, and also your fuse holder. Now the pads don't necessarily have to be installed on your tanks, or if you install them on your tanks, you can get extras, and a lot of people are installing them on their steps. So in the colder months, if you're out camping, your steps aren't frozen when you try to walk outside, you fall down and hurt yourself. Keep in mind that the pads are 12 inches wide. The typical step is only gonna be eight inches wide, so you're gonna have some extra. With the wires running into it, I'm gonna recommend not trimming them down. The one sticky side of it though, allows you to kind of form that uh, to the bottom of the step so you can kind of clean up the install look. Go ahead and test out our switch. I know we're getting power to our switch. We're getting power to our switch. We're getting power to our panels. We're going to let this go for a second. We'll feel the pads and make sure they're heating up. So we've got a little heat gun here, temperature gauge. We're going to just point it at the tank. It's 67 degrees. We'll point it at the pad. Seventy degrees. So you know our pads are working. That's going to do it for a look at the LaSalle Bristol RV tank heater. 